All right, you've got a new iPad Pro or iPad, any iPad will work, and you have a need for an external keyboard or one kicking around the house that uses a USB level little thing that you used to put in your computer uh, so that you could extend, but this doesn't have a USB in. So what do you do? You research YouTube and you see all these options and whatnot. And I'm gonna show you what I do that makes it simple. Simply, you get a adapter. That's what these things are. And there's many different types. There's this type, there's the this type, there's this type. But how do you choose the one right for you? Well, you need to know which power adapter you have. And the power adapters that iPad is used is like this USB-C, okay, the fast one. This is the old one, Lightning, okay? Sucks, but they do a proprietary thing and they get rocking. So I bought a USB-C, this side, that has inputs. And you see these inputs here? These are for card readers. You know those little cards that are in your camera or your DJI device or e even other devices that are out there. But this one is the USB in. So USB, you can simply put the USB-C to the USB and you plug it into your device. Now there are a couple different types like this one here um, that's promoted often in a lot of uh, YouTube, but you don't need it. If you've got a card reader like this, it works better. And I'm gonna give you one more tip um, in regards to this, that's really, really necessary. So let's let's first do the, uh, the jacking in of this and plug the USB-C in, okay? So it's in now, okay, to the side of the thing. So you're gonna see that you can now put this in, and sorry about how you got a new tattoo if you're noticing that and it's kind of bleeding, but um, not bleeding blood, but just bleeding into itself. It's got the wrap on, so don't worry, I'm okay. So you plug this into it, okay? and um, and you let it run. Now, this is your keyboard, which you must know has batteries usually, okay? So you'll want to put new batteries. Make sure they're new batteries. The tape's on the back of this because I always store my stuff with the peripherals. I had the USB tape on here so I didn't lose it. And it usually has an on-off switch. So as you see, on or off. So I'm gonna turn this on now and immediately it'll start going. Do you need to go into your Bluetooth settings to make this work? No, you don't. You don't need to mess around with the Bluetooth. This will automatically see it and, and connect to your, uh, your device once this is logged in. So let's now go here and see if it works. And here it is. It is working just fine. And uh, you can type whatever you want. And it's amazing. And it's got a really good distance on it. And you can take this in a travel pack with you so that you can work on the road. So what is this really doing? This is making it possible so that you don't have to buy the case with that keyboard, with the flat keys. I like keys that you can actually like touch and feel, you know, and, th and this trackpad, check this out. That's right. You can also have that in it. So you don't need this. Well, like, come on, Apple. It's not really ergonomic, right? The human hand is like this on a side. So I buy mice that are much better. So I don't really care for it on the mobile. I'll just do this and has the right click stuff on here. I'll put this Logitech one down in the comments below because this is a fantastic one. I believe I got it at Staples, but um, it's on Amazon also. And what do you need to do? What do you really need to know about these? I just want to say that if you're going to get one of these, get it so that it can do a lot of things like have the card readers in, have USB. Now, here's the tip, are you ready? Drum roll, please. You should get something that can put USB into it. USB-C, I mean. And so, so like right now, if you're running this, your power's running out on your iPad, right? So you wanna be able to connect a USB-C into this. So in another line in, and then that'll be charging this while you're working so this doesn't die and then you have to charge in and then restart work. No, it just keeps it all running. So that's, that is my biggest tip. So don't worry about all the Fandango gadgets out there. They say, you gotta have this one. You can get a multi adapter and I'll put some options down below so that you can easily get the one that's right for you so that you don't have to go out and buy a million and one gadgets. Okay, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, check out these two videos and I'll see you in another one. Come on.